Hey, my name is Jeff back again. Time for another A to Z in Christian Rock. So, again, briefly, if you don't know what this is, we're just looking through my vinyl collection at the things that would be categorized, marketed as, or loosely fall into what I would call the realm of uh, Christian related, Christian friendly music. That's a good thing. Christian friendly in the sense that there's probably members in the band or lyrics that are in some way. Uh, worldview related to a spiritual Christian type nature so um, and we are again dealing with mainly rock and harder typically harder rock I have a lot of pop rock and I have a lot of just straightforward classic rock we're not going into those we're really sticking more with a little bit of the edgier stuff with exceptions here and there now we are up to the letter Q and there are none there are none I even looked at my CD collection, and I don't have any CDs with a band name that starts with Q. It goes right from P to R. So, same with the vinyl, P to R. There is no Q. We're jumping right into the R's. We got a good chunk of R's. So, let's get into it. First one, Rage of Angels, one and done. One of the best melodic 80s metal type albums in my collection. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, the band, members of the band went on to, to join and be part of uh, Steelheart so you know again that's that type of thing but um, this is one and done and uh, great stuff and yeah anyway one of my favorite albums glad to have that on vinyl it's a tougher one to find all right Recon another 80s sounding metal band um, a lot of people are uh, kind of you know compare them to like Halloween of the days Keeper the Keys things like that um, through the vocal style um, so pretty much straightforward US power metal type things this is George Ochoa on guitar he went on to be in Deliverance he's done a lot of other things he's in all kinds of bands now still doing things so um, yeah he's in uh, Human Code has a new album coming out about to drop so anyway great stuff classic but great absolutely one of my favorites all right now we're into a modern band Red this is their previous album declaration they are a modern uh, band that came out, I don't know, 10, what, maybe 10, 12, 15 years ago now. Um, so they have a uh, a lot of different, you know, just a modern sound, but they've got some orchestrations at times. And, you know, at times he kind of gets screamy, and at times he's very melodic singing. So, yeah, uh, great stuff. And this is their most recent album, which I showed not too long ago, because I got it not too long ago, rated R, the new Red album. So check them out if you haven't, if you're into the modern type music so red sea blood this is a reissue this album came out in the 90s i believe um this is the singer that was from die happy and he went on to do red blood kind of a uh you know just a great album i forget there may have been uh ah totally drawn a blank but i want to say that there were some other people in this band greg chasen jeff martin i don't know anyway great album kind of a hard rocking classic rocking not classic rock but a hard rock bluesy rock uh, type feel at times kind of similar to the die happy second album in that it's got a little more of a groove and hard rock sound uh you know bordering into the metallic stuff great stuff all right here's a band i don't know a whole lot about the lightest struck by redeemer it's actually the lightest struck and the darkness splits I believe this is like a reissue of an album uh, that was released. I think this band was in the, were they in the 80s or late 80s? Anyway, I, I don't know. Uh, this is one of those reissues of a underground unknown type band. And I don't know a whole lot about them, even though they tell you the whole story here. I read a little, quite a bit of it, but totally drawn a blank on what they were. But yeah, female fronted, just great stuff there. All right, and this is probably the first time I would think, I can't recall back in the, of this happening in any other letter, but here is a band where we got the same singer. So Reign of Glory was a super group type thing that put together a year or two ago. And this one uh, is got Robin also that was on Red Sea that I just showed two records ago. So here we go, same guy, two, got two, two albums with many years between the two. Um, this also has Roger Dale Martin of Vengeance Rising and Die Happy Fame, so they're working together again. Jim Chafin of The Crucified and Deliverance, Nick Layton of Firewolf. So, kind of a super group thing, and I believe they are still together, but didn't they change members? I think I think Robin's not in the band anymore. 
seems like I remember hearing something about that there's something new coming out. But anyway, it was just a really solid album there. All right, and here's where we're similar to the peas. Here's where we're making that decision of do we mention them or do we not? But we gotta, we gotta, gotta. Res band, resurrection band, definitely classic rock. At times, hard rock. At times, you know, commercial here and there. They've done all kinds of stuff. One of the forefathers of the Christian rock movement. They started in the early 70s and just... Uh, with the blues rock feel and they just progressively gave us more and more excellent music and so I'm not gonna show all their catalog I have quite a few of their I think I have a good majority of their vinyl releases but I'm just jumping into some of the latter ones here so um, between heaven and hell is one where they actually had a couple videos they had at least a video that I don't know if it ever made it on MTV but I know around the MTV era uh, we started seeing this video um, one of their higher quality video type things they did this and then one of the last albums that I have silent screens by res I do not have all their vinyl now because I am missing um, Innocent blood which is on vinyl, but hard to find I was thrilled to find silent screams But um, yeah, so they've got some things that I'm missing and then they've done some other albums after this that were mainly only CD releases um, a lot of their earlier stuff was recently reissued by Girder music on vinyl and I'm hoping that they do continue to get us into some of the latter years there. All right, here's another one of those reissues. Spiritual Wind by Revelation. This is a reissue of a band from the late 80s, Florida band. More of a uh, custom release tape, never really signed or anything. And then they were put out on this label that was celebrating Florida bands, Florida unsigned type bands. And this little package came out a couple years ago, so I was thrilled about it. I remember talking to these guys back in the day when I was doing my magazine. And, um, yeah, I, I've uh, got some fond memories of just talking on the phone and, and, and the music that they had back in the day. Great stuff. I believe they later changed their name to Dolphin, which, was there some of that stuff on here? Maybe not. Which is a town, I believe this is the band, town in Florida. Anyway, I, I really love that album back in the day. Great stuff. All right, another modern band, Ritual Servant. I spoke about them not too long ago because they had a new album not too long ago. This is their first album. Um, I'm going to say, you want these guys like not too far from me, like in North Carolina or something? Um, kind of a thrashy, not too aggressive vocal styles, but kind of rough and, and grumbly, uh, thrashy type feel. Of music and so yeah was really impressed with their first album and then they released a second album this is the band if you've seen my videos they released this album two songs at a time with seven inch singles and they when they had four of them you open them all up they make a poster and then all eight album, all eight songs made it onto a CD and then they said ah, oh, what the heck so they went ahead and put all eight songs on a 12 inch so now I've got the 12 inch edition on top of the four seven inch editions which make this which i thought was the way they were going to do it they were just going to release seven inch singles and that was going to be it no other vinyl release but hey there we go they did it limited number and i grabbed one all right rob rock the melodic voice of metal but yeah rage of creation this is i think his first solo album straight up u.s power metal type stuff with his melodic vocals he's done so much work you've probably heard me mention his name so many times it's just not even worth going into at this point he spent quite a few um uh, quite a few years in in, Pel in Pelletary. i mean he's still in it basically but they uh, record periodically and he's on majority of the albums occasionally he's not available and uh, chris does go and get another singer uh, he's had Graham Bonnet and some other guys in the band. So um, he's not on every Impelitary album, but he's on quite a few of them. So. And he's done a lot of other work with a lot of other bands. He's always being hired out on various uh, various bands to do a song here, a song there. All right. Only one of the two of these vinyl releases do I have. Rosanna's Raiders, Australian Trio, uh, Rosanna the Singer, and... Uh, there is two albums that they put out back in the day. This would be straight up hard rock, and it doesn't really cross into the metal field as much, but still solid stuff. Love this back in the day. And uh, not too terribly long ago, a couple years ago, they released a, a, a there was an import CD version of like both a bunch of their stuff that had been recorded outside of these albums. So I was really thrilled to get that. Uh, there have been CD reissues of both of their albums with the, you know, from Retroactive and stuff. But this is the one of the OG copies of their original album. And I do need to find their other one. This is the second album, I believe. Or, yeah, there was, anyway, great stuff. Solid rock and stuff there. 
All right, Rose. This is two different things. Rose, Songs for the Ritually Abused. This was a couple years ago. Kickstarter program we supported that came out on vinyl and CD. Rose is the Randy Rose. Not Randy Rhodes. <laughs> As was a confusion when I played some Ro Randy Rose solo stuff on a radio. I was DJing back in the late 80s, early 90s. I said, here's a song from Randy Rose. And somebody called in and said, did you say Randy Rhodes? No, Randy Rose. Randy is uh, half of the brother duo that do Mad at the Worlds with his brother Roger. So Roger Rose, Randy Rose, they are working on a new Mad at the World album as we speak. I have supported the Kickstarter program. I'm looking forward to that. But this is some of the solo stuff that Randy does. This album came out a couple years ago just under the name Rose. This one just came out last year under the full name Randy Rose. And uh, and it, it, it came out and then they dropped all the tracks and then the CD came out and then finally the vinyl dropped uh, you know, last year. So great stuff. Alternative type feel. Uh, you know, gritty, grindy stuff. Uh, all kinds of different styles in here. Check it out. And then the last one in the series is Jamie Rowe. This is home. This is okay. People would say that's not really hard and heavy. Uh, Jamie Rowe is hard and heavy in everything in my life. So, um, used to be he was the you know original singer from the band Tempest, who did a couple albums on Pure Metal. Then he joined Guardian and did a lot of stuff with Guardian, pretty much everything but the first album. He's notorious for having you know sweet melodic, not not super melodic, but just a kind of a gritty melodic voice and has done all kinds of great stuff. This album came out a couple years ago and it does tinker some in times with a country flair, you know, because he's living in Tennessee and it kind of is all over. This is kind of more commercial with at times kind of a twang, uh, but still it's got some, you know, lots of guitars and, and still got some hard rock and moments. Since this album, he went full force back into the heavier stuff with Calamity Kills, which I have shown on CD when it came out. Another Kickstarter program we supported. Um, would love to see. I can't recall if they're going to do a vinyl of that or not. But anyway, Calamity Kills is just straight up back to the straight up uh, melodic type metal. Uh, kind of an 80s, 90s sound. But this is the only one that's on vinyl. It's his solo album from a handful of years ago, which was great stuff. That's it. That's the R's. Lots of good stuff in the R's. I'm curious. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of S's. S seems to be a very uh, <laughs> letter that I'm sure has a lot of bands in, in, in it for sure. Anyway, so we'll be there next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Rock on and rock hard.